And if we try to telnet from or telnet into 192.168.1.1, here what we can do is uh, source that traffic. Yeah, the source interface. So we want to source this from. So let's just source it from the 20 network first and see what happens. Tell that from the source interface of which on router zero, which is loopback one. If we scroll back up here in our config, you can see here under loopback one, we gave it the 20 network. So what we're going to do is tell that to router one via the source interface of loopback one on our router, which is specifying the 20 network. Okay, so what you can see here is it says here connection refused by remote host. So if we go to router one, you can see here that we're getting uh, we're logging some messages saying that we've denied uh, you know denied traffic from the source of 192.168.20.1 via right here our access list which is ACL1 we can also verify this if we do a show access list you can see here now that we have a match under our sequence 20 statement which is denying the 192.168.20.0 network. So let's go over here and do that again. We'll just try to do a couple. Go back to router 1, do a show access list again. Now you can see here that we've denied six times the trap. Uh, you know, we've denied it six times. We've got six matches on that uh, sequence of the ACL. So now let's go over to router zero. What we'll do is we'll telnet again. We're going to try to telnet to router one. Under here, we're going to do a source interface of loopback zero, which, if you can remember, up here, our loopback zero interface on router zero is from the 10 network. And based on the ACL on router one, we are permitting the uh, 10 network from, you know, from telnetting into our router. So we should see this a match come up here when we try to, per you know, when we try to telnet. So go back to router zero and telnet in. And you can see here now that we were successful because we get the command prompt for router one. If you go back to router one, you can see here that we have a uh, another log message here saying the access list one has permitted the ten uh, packet from the ten network. And we can verify this by doing a show access list. You can see here now that we have permitted traffic from the 10 network. Again, let's go ahead and tell that again over to router one. You can see here now we're in router one. Go ahead and exit out of there. And you can see here on router one, you can see here now that we have four matches with the 10 network. So that's uh, that's how you would filter your VTY lines on your router using a standard ACL. Now what you can um, what we can also do here, say we just tell that over. 192.168.1.1. Now, what do you what do you think is going to happen here? 
Well, if we look here in our ACL, um, we don't have anything. If we were to just tell that over to there right now, what it's going to use is our outgoing interface to router one as the source of the telnet traffic. So that source is 172.16.1.1, which you can see here uh, is the outgoing interface to router one. So when I telnet, it's going to source that traffic from this IP address 172.16.1.1. Now if we look at the logic here in our standard ACL, we don't have anything matching 172.16.1.1 so what we should see here is the deny any uh, now should see a match you should see some packets match that sequence so if we go back to router 0 and try to tell that to 192.168.1.1 which is router 1 see here that we have connection refused by remote host so if we go back to router 1, you can see here that our access list has indeed uh, denied this packet from the source of 172.16.1.1, which is, again, uh, what we said would be the source of this uh, telnet traffic. You can verify that, again, if we do a show access lists and you can see now here under sequence 30 I have uh, a match again if I try it again just a couple times just to verify that it's working try to tell them that several times now if I go back to router 1 you can see here now that our matches are incrementing on the deny any uh, access control list statement. So again, this is how you would implement security, you know, on your uh, VT, you know, your VTY lines, you know, to permit or deny telnet traffic from, you know, uh, specific source uh, IP addresses. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.